Hey guys! Okay, we are going to talk about absolute value equations. Okay, I'm really sorry, I just painted, so my hands are all crazy. Anyways, now we can do absolute value equations. Okay, so remember absolute value, the same, what this means is the distance from zero. So if you had a number line, and we're standing at zero, and I said, okay, now walk two spaces. Okay, so you could, from zero, walk two spaces, one, two to the right, and be at positive two. Or from zero, you could walk one, two spaces to the left, and be at negative two. Because we're not quite sure what answer we could get, since we could get both answers, like if you decided, oh, today I feel like walking to the right, you'd be at positive two, or if you felt like walking to the left, you'd be at negative two. Anyways, both answers are correct in options, so you're going to have two answers for all of these. So here's what you need to know. When the absolute value is alone, and it has to be alone, because sometimes it's not alone and we need to make it alone. Okay, so when the absolute value is alone, then um, you look and you see, so for example, if I have x, like the absolute value of x, these guys are like walls, okay? Nothing goes in or out of the wall until it's all by itself. So when your absolute value is all alone and it equals a number, let's say for example, 8. 8 is how many spaces you're going to move? And then x is where you are, okay? So, for example, if this was our, our absolute value, it's all alone, so then we look. If we move eight spaces on our number line, we always have to start at zero. If I moved eight spaces this way, I would be at positive eight, or if I moved eight spaces this way, I would be at negative eight. So, my answer, where are you? You could be standing at negative eight, or you could be standing at positive eight. You need both answers for these guys. So absolute value equation, you have two really tall lines, so you need two answers. Now sometimes the answers are really similar, they're just different by sign, and sometimes they're very, very different. So we have to be really careful. Okay, so the first few problems, the absolute value is already by itself. So like, if you looked at number nine, I need to move 10 spaces. So if I had my number line, because my absolute value is all by itself, so I can look at my number line. If I move 10 spaces this way, I'll be at positive 10. Or if I move 10 spaces this way, I'll be at negative 10. So V would equal negative 10, and V would equal positive 10. So those are my two answers. Now, on number 12, this absolute value is not by itself. It is getting divided by 7. So we have to get this absolute value alone, and it's a box. Nothing goes in or out until it's alone. So since it's getting divided by 7, we have to do the opposite. So we're going to multiply each side by 7. So now we have the absolute value of x equals negative 4 times 7 is negative 28. Now here's something that we haven't talked about yet with absolute value. We draw our number line and we start at 0. Now I'm walking on my number line. Can I walk negatively? So here's a thought. Can we walk negative distance? Is that a thing? When I walk with my pedometer, then I gain more steps. If I just sit with my pedometer, then my steps stay at whatever it was before I sat down. If I try to walk backwards, I'm still gaining more steps on my pedometer. So I have no way of walking negatively. So this is a no solution can't walk negative distance. Doesn't work. Okay, so let's try this one. This one kind of looks like a no solution. We're just going to wait and see. Okay, so we're going to get the absolute value by itself. So we're going to do the opposite of minus 5. So we're going to add 5 to each side because we did one side, we must do to the other. Now we have the absolute value of v, sorry not x this time, equals negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Okay, so I'm standing on my number line. I always start at 0. I'm going to move zero spaces from zero, so I just get to hang out here at zero. Yay! Okay, so if I just hang out at zero, then my answer will be zero. So this is a one 
solution. Because I didn't move past zero, I just stayed at that same number, and zero doesn't have a negative version of itself or a positive version of itself. Okay, so let's do some more. Um, okay, number 16. Again, it looks kind of um, like maybe we can't do it because it equals a negative. So we're going to get this absolute value by itself. My negative 10, when it sits next to my absolute value, it's the same thing as if I had this. If I had 2x equals 10 and we're solving for x, well, in order to get the variable by itself, we would divide each side by 2. The same thing is happening with my absolute value. I'm going to start because my negative 10 is getting multiplied by my absolute value. I'm going to start with dividing on each side. Because what we do to one side, we do to the other. Now we have the absolute value of n equals negative 50 divided by negative 10 is positive 5. Okay, so now we draw our cute little number line. Love it. We're going to go five spaces to the right. One, two, three, four, five, and that could be at five. Or five spaces to the left from zero. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, you always go back to zero. It would be at negative five. So my answer for this problem would be n equals five and n equals negative five. Okay. Ooh, number 19. So we're trying to get the variable by itself. So the opposite of add 6 is minus 6. What we do to one side, we do to the other. We have the absolute value of b equals 10. So I make my cute little number line. If I go 10 spaces this way, I'll be at positive 10. Or if I go 10 spaces this way, I'll be at negative 10. So b, whatever's on the inside, equals negative 10. And b equals positive 10. Those are my two answers. Okay, so just remember, like on number 24, when your variable is getting multiplied by the absolute value, you have to do the opposite, and the opposite is divide. This is one that students mess up on a lot. Okay, then we have the absolute value of n equals 0 divided by 55 is 0. And again, this guy is like the one we did on the front side. I'm standing at 0, and I move 0 spaces from 0, so n equals 0. This is a 1 solution. And then like number 25, my k is getting divided by 19, so you have to do the opposite to get the variable by itself, so multiply each side by 19. And the absolute value of k equals um, 4 times 19, which is 76. So I'm standing on a number line at 0, always start at 0. I'm going to move 76 spaces this way to get positive 76. And I'm going to move 76 spaces this way to get negative 76. So k equals negative 76, and k equals positive 76. Now, these numbers are the same, but they're opposite. It's not going to stay that way for all absolute value equations. So please make sure you have your two answers written out. All right, guys. Let your teacher know if you have any questions. Have a great day. Bye.